Jessica and she is working on her grade 9 RCM. Now she is choosing to use the technical board canes from pianoscales.ca. Okay, now the orange one right there. Or Devika can choose to do it on the iPad. Okay, now if you move it over, let's move over one. Now Devika's going to blow it up because also on each board game, now this is for grade 9, it also tells you all your requirements. Okay, so now let's just get started. Um, so students have an option to choose whether it's from just on their iPad or you can print it out. And so you're starting with the orange with which one? The scale for D flat major? Yeah. Okay. Devika would have an opportunity to either circle it with a wet erase to say, okay, this is the one she needs to work on because you see she had a little bit of an error there. Next, now let's do B flat minor melodic. The next one was formula pattern in G sharp minor. Having to think about it, chromatic scale. Okay. okay. Next, B major scale and octaves. This would be another one that would be marked, saying, okay, we need to work on that. Now, let's just do one more. The four note chords, G major, two octaves. We're going to end with a one, four, one, six, four, five, one cadence. So that's just a sample for grade 9 on working with the technical board game. Sophia, who is learning preparatory grade. Now Sophia is going to show you using, she has it downloaded on her iPad, the Pentascales, and this is for preparatory A. And we're just learning it today, but we're going to start with the right hand. Let's put our right hand on C, and let's play the five notes going up and then back down for C major penta. the right hand for G major pentascale. So where's G? Okay. Yeah, finish it. Okay, so you have to use all five fingers. Okay, let's do the left hand for D major. Five on D. Da -da, F sharp. Good. And your triad. So there's everything with preparatory and preparatory B that can be downloaded or printed. Or we can use the board game, and as Sophia is learning all of them, we're going to throw a dice, and wherever she lands, we're going to come back and be able to play that, correctly. But another way we can use the game is with theory, and we're going to be playing the pot of gold. And we're going to see how Sophia does, all right? We're going to pick today, what cleft do you want to use? Right which is the treble clef. Can you say that? Treble clef. Okay, so I'm going to draw a note and you will play it and tell me what it is so you can jump over the crab. C. Good. 
So Sophia played C so we can jump over the crab. Now remember, and I don't know who drew this, we have one lifeline. Well, we'll leave that there. So here's your lifeline. So remember, only one lifeline that can save you, otherwise you're gonna fall into the waves. Next, we go over an octopus. Now look carefully. This was a line note. What note is this? C. We played C. What are we doing? We are skipping up to? E. Yep, let's play that. Good. So we're gonna jump over the octopus. Now you're gonna watch to see if it steps up or steps down. So that's a jellyfish. Now we're going over the shark. So take a look if I'm going up or down, if I'm stepping or skipping. Which way did I go now? What note is that? And that's the shark. It's gonna get you this thing. Oh, good. Okay. You know about the shark from Jaws, right? Now, careful. Stepping or skipping? Up or down? Up. What note is that? E. F. <laughs> I was going to put a lifeline, but you know what? You said E, so we're going to show you how you play this. You lost one lifeline, but I got to save you. Okay, so you're floating. You have one more chance. What note was that? Okay, so now look at this last one. Let's see if we're going to win the pot of gold. What note is that? Come on. G. G. Now, we have that. Let's draw a happy face. So as you see, this board game can be used for all different types of theory questions. So you can write out scales, you can write out triads, the higher the grade, you can use intervals. Um, up to grade four, they have the pot of gold game. You can create it yourself and then it's just the staff so that you're able to write and the student is able then to learn with a little bit of fun. So see you soon and we're gonna see how Sophia does shortly with the whole game, right Sophia? Yeah. Okay. Bobby now is going to be working on her grade seven technical requirements. <laughs> okay, so she's also going to be using the technical board games from Piano Scales. And which color did you choose? I chose the purple one with the black. Okay, so she probably put, chose the purple one, which also could be so on the, the iPad. iPad. <laughs> yes. No, just push it. Okay, and blow that up. Oh. Okay, so she probably is also able to see exactly what requirements are going to be needed and the speed but now that we're just starting out, let's bring it back to the blow up one. Because if you blow it up and you just choose, it just makes it a lot easier to know what you're practicing or also having it printed out. And now we'll see how we do. Okay, next one, right away, you can go right to the next one. Okay, now this one it was D minor melodic. melodic. Okay, so now, if a student has a problem, let's take a look at the back of the board game. Let's put it in front. Now we're going to work it through. So this is the write it to know it. So D minor melodic. Okay, we're going to use the wet erase, or you could use, if you have it on print, just a pencil. Okay, so what's the key signature for D minor? Who's D minor related to? It's related to F major. Okay, so what are you going to put in there? We're going to put a B flat. Except that treble clef could be dripped drawn a little bit better, but that's okay. Let's just get yeah, that. Sorry about that. Yes. Put a flat. Okay, starting on D. Let's just write eight notes going up using whole tones. So quickly, let's do that. So, what does melodic mean? That the sixth and seventh note are raised. So how would we do that? So you'd have to make, since the B is going to be the sixth note, then you have to make that a natural. That's right, because that's a flat in the key signature. So when you're writing, always try to give it enough room. I always have that problem. <laughs> and you're going to make the seventh note a sharp? Yes. <laughs> now, what do we do on the way down? You have to make it a natural scale of D minor. Yeah, so that's going to be Put a natural race it, just make room. Put a natural sign in front of the C, because you're going to get rid of the sharp. And you're going to bring the B flat back. Yes. OK. 
Okay, so this is how the board game is also used to write it to know it and reinforce memory. So now let's go back to that. Let's try to see if you can play your D minor melodic scale. Now how'd you play it going up? Did you raise that B flat? Yes. So this is just grade 7 now being shown how to use it with the board game. How's it helping you? And it's actually really fun. It's kind of like a little game. You can play snakes and ladders or something like that. Okay, because we're going to come back and see how you've done with your grade. I bet you are. <laughs>